<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a PlayStation Vita of any kind, how you can essentially unlock the PlayStation Portable emulator within this system. This works for the Vita a TV, the PlayStation TV, the Vita 1000, and the Vita 2000. All you need is you just need the basic understandings of how to navigate and run your Vita and such using custom firmware, so Hinkaku, H Encore, Enzo, all that fun stuff. This video is going to assume that you've probably seen my previous video on how to get that set up. I have some on 3.6 and 3.65, 3.68. So mainly check those out according to your firmware. But anyways, this is going to be covering all of that and it's thankfully pretty simple to do. So of course you're going to need your Vita and you're also going to need a storage device of some kind or just make sure you have plenty of storage available which you should have if you have Hinkaku running on here. And finally, you are going to need to go over to your computer to download a few things. So let's go ahead and do that. So thankfully there's only one thing we have to download here. Look for this link in the description and this is for 6.61 Adrenaline and this is by the official Flow or the Flow. All you need to do is download this Adrenaline VPK file onto your computer. Once that has been transferred over, let's go ahead and do a file transfer setup because we're also going to have to modify the config file. So for this all you really need to do is open up Vita Shell and then connect it however you want to to your PC. I'm going to be using a FTP server for this so get this all set up, keep this running and go back over to your PC. For this like always go ahead and type in everything you need to. So just your IP, your port number, log in, you don't need a username or password and now navigate to the folder that you want to do your transfers from. When you're here, first of all, go over to UX0 and put your VPK somewhere. I'm going to be putting it in my VPK folder. So for this adrenaline, just make sure you upload it. And that's all you need to do. Now we need to configure our actual Thai file. So for this, you need to go to UR0, go into Thai, and download your config text file. And next, configure this using something such as Notepad++. Now for this, I'm going to make a new line under kernel, and this will be UX0 colon app forward slash PSP EMU CFW forward slash SCE underscore module forward slash adrenaline underscore kernel dot skprx save that and that's all you need to do at that point so once that has been put in there you can go ahead exit out of this exit out of all that fun stuff go back over to win scp and you can now transfer well i'm going to refresh first and then transfer this back over overwrite and hit ok and that's all you need to do so i'm now going to disconnect and that's it so once everything is transferred over, what you'll need to do is go over to UX0, go to where you installed your VPK or where you copied it over, and go ahead and install this. Now with that installed, I'm just going to delete this out of here because I no longer need it, exit out of Vita Shell, and now restart your Vita before we continue. So for this, I'm just going to go into my settings, Hinkaku settings, and reboot device. Once your device is back to the land of the living, go all the way down and find this new Adrenaline installer that has been set up. So all you need to do is launch this for the first time, wait for this, this will tell you how you can navigate PlayStation Portable games on here if you haven't before, so that is definitely good to know but just go ahead and wait. So it's now going to ask you to press X to install the PSP firmware to your memory card. Make sure you have your internet connection all set up and ready to go and press X. Now I'm glad we ran into this error here. What should happen is when you open this, it should download the 6.61 firmware. 
However, if it doesn't, we are going to have to load it onto the console manually in app PSP MU custom firmware, which is totally fine. So let's go ahead and take that step just in case you run into this issue. Now again, I am glad we ran into it this way. So just in case this error does happen to you, all you need to do is download the 6.61 firmware eBoot file. It should come in a eBoot.pbp file, and I'll have a link down below in the description on where to download that. You want to take this and rename it to 661, and that's all. So now doing the same method we did before, we're going to refresh that. You now need to go over to UX0 app PSPMU custom firmware, and this is the folder we need to transfer this into. So just right click, upload, and let it do its magic right there. With that transferred over, if you had to do that step, you can now disconnect from here and go back over to your console. Trying this again, you can now go over to Adrenaline, launch this, wait for this to set up, and it will now tell you to press X to install this, which we are going to do. It should now tell you that the firmware has installed successfully, so press X to boot into this. And as you can see, we now have a PSP on our screen. This will now require us to go through the initialization process, so just go ahead and do this real quick. And as you can see, that is it right there. We have this all set up. You can go ahead and play around with some of the settings on here. Really just go ahead and go back through your nostalgic phase of the PSP, uh, mainly if you messed around with it quite a bit. If you want to change any of the settings, you can hold down the PlayStation button, go to settings, and you can check any of the settings here. So you could do standby mode, you can open up some of the official settings that are available where you can modify those. Let's go ahead and show you what else there is as well too. You can exit either way. And if you press the left and right shoulder buttons, otherwise known as L1 and R1 if you're using a controller, you can do save state, you can change all of these settings here, you can check the about page, and all that fun stuff. There is quite a bit of stuff that you're able to do here, including, you know, graphics filtering, all this other stuff, smooth graphics. It's, it's cool that you have all of this available. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to exit out of this for now. And I'm going to show you all how you can transfer some files over to this to use within your custom firmware PSP, essentially, that you have on your Vita. So using whatever method you prefer, I'm just going to do Vita Shell and FTP. Go ahead and make sure your Vita is connected to your PC and we'll continue from there. So now once you connect, you are probably going to be asking how you can set up all of your stuff here. So this is pretty easy. What you need to do is go to your UX0 and you're going to need to create this folder here called PSPMU if it's not already there. But you can go into PSPMU and then right click while well, we're going to be creating some directories. So for any games that are in ISO or CSO format, you just want to create a folder here called ISO. And for this, this is where you're going to be transferring all of your stuff, well, mainly your games. Uh, for any homebrew or any, for example, um, PSX to PSP games, I'm going to show you the file structure for that. You just need to create a new directory in here called PSP. Enter that. Create a new directory here called Game. Enter that. And then transfer over the homebrew that you want. So for this example, I'm going to transfer over a piece of homebrew. PSP ident, that's what I'm using as my example. Now, if you want to transfer over a PSP ISO, you're going to have to go into this ISO folder, and then you're going to have to grab your ISO. For this, I'm going to be using Daxter. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is keep your titles short. I believe I read somewhere that your file names, um, like for example, Daxter here, that should be, you know, about eight characters no more than that that's what i would recommend since daxter is only six characters this will be fine but all i'm going to do is i'm going to upload this 
onto my system and wait a little bit. Back over at your console once everything is done being transferred, and go ahead and go back to Adrenaline, launch this, just do a clean launch on here, and wait a few seconds to get to your XMB. Once XMB loads in, let's confirm that we have everything here. So I'm just going to go to Memory Stick. Right here, as you can see, here is my game. And here's my piece of homebrew. So first, let's go ahead and run the homebrew. This is just PSP ident. It just identifies your console. It's pretty self-explanatory. But uh, this is a little bit funny to see. I did test this out prior, but as you can see, it can't detect anything on here, which is to be expected. So I'll go ahead and create a screenshot. gives this nice little effect. And press any cross to exit. Sure, why not? So now once it kicks us out to the XMB, I will show you all a PSP game running on here. For this, I picked Daxter. I'm just going to press the X button on here. Wait a few seconds and this should load in with no issue. And as you can see, the game is booting. So I did test this prior, so I do have one save on here, but I can even show you that save game functionality and such is working on this. So I can go to load game, for example, and my save that I made one minute ago was right there. So that is it. As you can see, this is fully working, playable, and everything, and on here it's great. I mean, granted, it doesn't look the best because you're going from a old handheld from 2005 and then you're displaying it here in 2018 on the system, but still, this is really cool to have and such. So now, hopefully, you have your PSP emulator fully unlocked, up and running, and this is a complete PSP right here. This is awesome, and it was made easy thanks to the flow, so thank you to him for this. But anyways, hopefully you all enjoy this video if you did a like would absolutely be appreciated if you didn't like it a dislike is fine as well too i really hope this helped you all out and let me know some of the stuff you'll be doing with your psp emulator now unlocked anyways this is mr mario signing off thank you all for watching everyone